what's going on you you can't sell motherfuckers <laughs> let, me, let me just tell you something i was just talking to my i was talking to my brother and a friend of mine <laughs> about the possibility of fucking millions of people on one day <laughs> fucking being like that so so you motherfucker so fuck you the diablo fuck you too <laughs> oh my god you guys are fucking killing me look uh public service announcement <laughs> I had to tell you motherfuckers that they might try to interrupt fucking all kinds of fucking internet communication type connection, whatever, just because you got to understand who we're fighting, you know, El Diablo. But you guys are fucking hilarious because now you blame me like, Lou, why would you say something like that? Simple. If I fucking knew it and I didn't tell you fucking people, that's more diabolical. Now, yes. And I'm fucking having a scream. I'm getting all kinds of messages. What do you mean they're gonna come up with fucking into the This is fucking my fucking screen gonna go back. Listen, don't you can't put anything past Silicon Valley. You just can't. Just understand. Like for real. Like that broker that right now is being sued by the SEC for naked short, it's like right down the road from El Diablo. <laughs> like, you think they will fucking pull the plug? <laughs> they will fucking pull the plug. So you guys have to have <laughs> different, even if you gotta fucking knock out a jogger and take their phone and fucking be like, fucking sell. You probably sell their fucking stocks. I'm just saying, <laughs> you guys are fucking, uh, you guys are fucking hilarious. Uh, I don't know why you guys are like that. <laughs> if, I know that after AMC, you motherfuckers are gonna go to therapy. See, it's this guy, his, his name is Louis Puerto Rican. He hangs out with this fucking duck. Oh my god, you'll be waking up at night. Who do? He's fucking trying to sell. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna cover. <laughs> I got fuck. I'm gonna fucking med to ease the migraine pain today, so this is. Oh, you guys are fucking funny. Um, everybody has the same question again. The cell number. So, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, look. We're going to break the devil. We already know that. We know insurance is going to have to kick in and everything else. We know this is going to be a big managed stage, crazy event, whatever. So, at the end of the day, you know, anticipate, you know, just on the normalness, craziness. But because of the fact that El Diablo is in the room, anticipate wildness. Um, that being said, look, I gave safe numbers because there are people here that they need to be safe. Then there's, you know, people that could afford to take that risk. You know, you're starting to feel that little bit of a hemiphodite in you. <laughs> and then... You got the motherfuckers like, no, 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 two hundred thousand. <laughs> you go with the fucking five hundred thousand for all I give a fuck. Every, anything and everything is possible now. We we got a Diablo in the room. Um, that being said, remember, as it goes higher, <laughs> you have more chances to get next to El Diablo and and the SEC. SEC. So, <laughs> and even El Go El Diablo. Because you have to understand, this is some bugged out, wild fucking out of space shit. So I'm just letting you know, you know, you know, like I could afford to, to fucking go crazy with my stuff. And it's something that I actually plan to do because it's, AMC is a little bit more symbolic than monetary for me in the capacity of it's gonna be i guess my last play in that capacity you may say lou why is it gonna be the last play because <laughs> the fucking economy is gonna go fucking anyway i'm not gonna fucking talk about that because now you motherfuckers are like oh dude oh dude you fucking sleeping and i'm all fucked up look you need one or two plays in your life and after those one or two plays you got to manage your money Okay, so if you have a little bit of shares, you can go into a lot of money. That lot of money goes into so and so and so, and then you have a bigger thing, okay? As far as the people freaking out with the capital gains, understand something. Factor in your cell number, factor in the capital gains at that amount, and then factor in how much more you would have to hold to cover those capital gains. 
Are you going to have to give the government some money? Yeah. Who, who pays for the short bus to go to the fucking kids to school? Ooh, whatever. If you weren't able to set yourself up in Puerto Rico in a tax shelter, whatever, you know, not tax evasion. Um, look, you got to pay. So, so fucking what? So fucking what you pay, you greedy bastards. At the end of the day, if you make $3 million and you got to give up, you know, whatever, you're still going to be a millionaire. What do you think? Everybody on Wall Street at the end of the day didn't have a time where something came in like, oh, it wasn't set up. It happens. Okay? It happens. You just go through it. Whatever. It's no big deal. You cover yourself on the next play. You make up money. The idea is that you constantly in plays so the capital gains doesn't hurt you. Listen, the government wants their money. You know? Now, if you want to put yourself in a situation where you're not paying them that money, that's illegal. But you got to prepare for it. So, all right, I'll fuck with you people. I'm actually doing some stuff early with you guys tonight. Cause I'm, you know what I'm gonna do tonight? I'm gonna fucking go to sleep. I'm fucking exhausted. You know, <laughs> I can't. I I got so many things to wake up tomorrow and watch. Uh, you know, the AMC this week is gonna be interesting because certain plays that are happening overseas. Um, that lawsuit. You don't know who that scares. But nobody's afraid of the SEC. With this type of criminality, let me tell you something. This is this is different, okay? So, because that can turn into something as a referral to you know who. So at the end of the day, whatever. I don't get about that. That's I'm called as a witness. I'm be like, <laughs> the fuck you want me as a witness? Watch the videos. Trust me, you'll fucking disqualify me in a second. <laughs> That's my new one. You want to go to jury duty? <laughs> That's the fucking devil one. <laughs> fucking people. Look, what do you mean you're going to shut off the internet? I'm not fucking shutting off the internet. I'm just saying, the devil has the fucking reach. The devil knows when you're on your phone, when you're sleeping, when you're jogging, what you have for lunch, you yelp motherfuckers. The devil knows everything. Oh. By the way, just putting it out there to the world, and for you people who know and know, because you know, wouldn't that be the most biggest insider trading information thing ever in the world? Just saying. Because if I fucking had a phone call from Mad Cow and he starts to talk about something, I cut him off. I'm like, oh, oh, I'm involved. I stop him. I stop that fucking, that fucking wackadoo fast. Or well, last thing you want to, you know, get is information that gives you an insider advantage and then you profit it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, that's no good. But think about it. El Diablo knows everything. The El Diablo's app is on your fucking phone. El Diablo knows you more than your spouse. <laughs> El Diablo knows who you really want as a spouse. And it's not your spouse. That fucking, that tortured soul next to you sleeping. <laughs> you fucking want somebody else. <laughs> I love you. El Diablo says she really, he really does. Anyway, I'll leave you guys with this stuff. Um, I did the poll all today. So you guys get all over the place. So any, meeny, money, whatever. I'm going to do the best one on my memory. Um, I'll do a mad cow. I'll do the, I'll probably, you know what I'll probably do? I'll probably have a cup of coffee. Like some of that fucking gorilla juice I keep in the kitchen. And I make some fuck that. If I ever invite you to my home and I say, you want an espresso? <laughs> Don't fucking say it. Just say, nah, nah, little kids. Okay, no. I make a little fucking cup of espresso like that. That could fucking wake up the dead. If I gave that to the fucking the zombies in The Walking Dead, they'll be fucking walking and dancing. I would have ended all that. That would have been all over. Fucking Rick would have murdered everybody. I actually grew up with a crazy white white guy like Rick. Fucking guy was looking to murder everybody. <laughs> Fucking sick bastard. I wouldn't know where the fuck we found him, but he had to be that way. He lived in the projects with gorillas. Moving on. Mad Cow. I already told you people. I was in the art world. Why? <laughs> because the SEC is not in the art world. I'll leave it at that. But what I used to do is I used to put money out on the street and artists that were coming up, I used to basically bankroll them. <clears throat> not COVID. Then I used to turn around and they used to make some work. I used to get the work. I knew the community. <clears throat> and the work was good. 
the price, you know, and it worked out. So Matt Kyle, one day he did me a solid. Instead of giving him the dory me, I gave him a painting. And he's like, yeah, thank you for the fucking painting. What the fuck is this? And hold on to the fucking painting, man. It's going to be worth something. He's like, all right, whatever. So, like three years, <laughs> I still remember this fucking conversation. Like three years fucking pass. We're downtown New York. And I told him, listen, if you ever want to, if you ever want to get rid of that painting, I, I got a buyer that's, that's buying the collection. And as he's eating there, <laughs> probably one of his past victims, he's eating a burger. Um, he says, well, what, what, what collection? What are you talking about? And I'm telling him, that fucking painting I fucking gave you. Remember that fucking painting I told you? He's like, yeah, I gave it to one of my clients. So what the fuck you do that for? That thing is close to like a fucking million dollars right now. That fuck, he had the Mac Cowlick. Ooh. I said it's about a million dollars. You hold that thing for a couple of more years. That thing could go in an auction for about 10. And he's like, you shitting me. I'm like, no. That That's part of a, of a collection. She made a collection. It was like 11 paintings in a series. And I actually gave you one. It's like, look, motherfucker. When you get out of prison, you have something to sell. And fucking rebound again. Go hunt some cows. All of a sudden, he gets on the fucking phone. He's calling his fucking client. It's an old lady. His fucking specialty. He fucking had... I, I'll tell it like that. Because you know you are that way, motherfucker. He fucking had all these old broads on the Upper East Side in Long Island. Fucking adopted him almost like a mad cow son. Like a grandson. Oh my God. His, and if I manage your money, you will be very rich in your afterlife. He was even hoping to get on of some of those wills. So anyway... He calls up the lady that he gave the painting to see if he can take it back, which was fucking diabolical. It's a fucking old lady. Why are you going to take the painting back? He's like, no, she hasn't been really giving me a lot of money. If it's a million dollars, it's a million dollars. She could, sit, she could look at some flowers outside because it was like flowers with something on it. So he gets on the phone and he's speaking to somebody and I'm looking, I'm looking at him and he had that like that look before he was, <laughs> he was gonna buy the Greyhound bus ticket to Texas and all of a sudden he closes the phone <laughs> so I'm looking at him like you getting the painting he's like look I gotta go to the hospital so I'm thinking myself he's having a heart attack I was like relax I gotta go fucking the hospital he goes no 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 the, the, the old bro she's in the hospital so I'm like alright go to the hospital He's like, come with me. We're going to go there. I'm going to I'm gonna talk to her. I'm going to tell her it was a mistake. I'm going to tell her it was your painting. I wasn't supposed to give it away. You were confused or something. So I was laughing. And I was like, fuck it. I'll go with him. I'm like, fuck. So we go over to the fucking east side to the hospital. <laughs> I'm not going to say which hospital this time. Because we fucking destroyed that place. But anyway. So we get to the hospital. And once we get to the hospital. You know, we're not on the fucking... On the family list. We're not nothing to do with these people. But he fucking maneuvers his way in there. <laughs> Move the IV lines. Hi. <laughs> I'm not going to say his name. Hi, it's me. Do you remember me? She's like, the machine next is going, doo, doo. she don't even know who the fuck this motherfucker is. He actually grabs her hands and do you remember me? <laughs> fucking her hand had a medical bracelet and an IV on it. Do you, do you remember me? And I just was in awe because there's like family members that are looking like, is are these guys? I mean, we're in suits. So we kind of look like either we're going to arrest the broad or save her. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't say his name. I'm just going to call him Cow. Cow, what are you doing? Leave the fucking lady alone. And he's telling me, no, I have to talk to her. So... He fucking hung out in the hospital for about 20 or 30 minutes trying to figure out how he can get it to, like, you know, come to consciousness. So when he went back after feeding, because they propped her up, he fucking made his move. He's fucking in there giving her, like, jello and fucking some pudding or something. And he's talking to her. You remember me, right? Yeah, I managed, I managed some, some investments for you. And, yeah, the biggest mistake that old broad did, she goes... Yes, I, I remember you. 
That's the fucking opening that fucking Mad Cow was looking for. He's like, I gave you a painting. I gave you a painting that belonged to my friend. And he's out there. He's so sad. I'm like, right fucking there. He's so sad. So I was like, okay. Whatever. Got to help the cow out. And she's like, yes. I remember that painting. It's... Yes, it's 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 in my home. So I knew quickly this this little lady's home's gonna get burglarized. And he's like, Is there any way I can get that painting back? Which was already diabolical that he was even saying that, but nonetheless he did ask. And she's like, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. And I was like, Wow, this fucking shit worked. This motherfucker's getting a million dollar painting back. Wow, it's the first fucking operation he ever did that worked. And then she goes, but, but, I want you to get my Georgie for me. So I'm like, who fuck is Georgie? I must see my Georgie. So I'm thinking to myself, all right, who the fuck is Georgie? So he asked her, where's Georgie? And he didn't mean to give a fuck. Who was Georgie? Georgie could have been a fucking crocodile in the fucking Bronx Zoo. He didn't give a fuck. Where's Georgie? He's downstairs. They won't let him come up. <laughs> well, no, I wonder why. All of a sudden, Mac goes, "No, I'm gonna go get Georgie for you." I'm like, "Cow, yo, we ain't getting Georgie." I don't know if Georgie's not being let up here with the normal people. We can't let him up. And she's like, "If you do that for me, if you do that for me, that painting will be will be yours t today. It will be back." Let me tell you something. She told me, where's, he told her, where's Georgie? He's downstairs. And he goes, okay, no problem. I'll, I'll go get him right now. She's like, you'll do that? You'll do that for me? Georgie's coming back. So anyway, we leave this old broad and I went to a big fucking hospital. And he's fucking saying, we got to find this fucking Georgie. So we didn't know who Georgie was. We really didn't fucking know who Georgie was. And I was intrigued, you know me. <laughs> I don't participate, but I will look. So all of a sudden, Matt Cock goes over and he starts talking to the family. Oh my God, you know, she's, she's trying to fight this day. And they're like, look, who the fuck is this guy? And he's like, you know, she really misses Georgie. And this one lady did the biggest fucking mistake ever, ever, ever in the history of New York City. She said, I know, but Georgie can't leave the third floor. That's it, we got a location for Georgie. We're on. So he fucking he didn't even he didn't even bother saying okay thank you. He just spun he just fucking turned around in those fucking floor shines and we were gone. We were fucking looking for Georgie. We go to the elevator, we go downstairs to the third floor. We don't know what the fucking third floor is. What the fuck was the third floor? <laughs> the third floor was where they keep those motherfuckers that didn't ever leave the short bus. And I'm in there with him like yo man cow. Everybody here is wearing a gown. What the fuck? We're not gonna fucking take one of these big retards out. Everybody's big retard or a little woman going like that. It's like, what the fuck? This is like that third exorcist. We had those crazy people in an asylum and we're walking around. He's like, Georgie, <laughs> Georgie, but <laughs> fucking walk like down three rooms and all of a sudden he said, Georgie, and all you heard was, uh -huh. I was like, oh shit, we found Georgie. And then we're like, is this big yoke motherfucker Georgie? Uh -huh. And we're like, this is Georgie. So here's the problem. We got the location of the painting. We got a willing old lady upstairs to hand over the million dollars. We found Georgie's location. There's one fucking problem. How are we gonna get Georgie out of that fucking room with his fucking coloring book Onto that fucking elevator, take that motherfucker to the seventh floor, bring him past the fucking nurses, and fucking thrust them into the room with the old lady. <laughs> this was going to be the best fucking experience with Mad Cow ever. So he said, Listen, <laughs> who says Georgie has to participate? I'm looking at this big motherfucker, his, his fucking. His fucking, if he ever made a fucking fist, he could punch through titanium. He was like, his fucking wrist was like my fucking arm. And I'm like, yo, but but serious, he's going to get fucked up. We'll take his coloring book. Come on, 
Don't worry about it. I'm like, I'm not touching that motherfucker's coloring book. I fucking dare you to touch a crayon. That motherfucker. So he fucking starts talking retard to Georgie, which I can tell you that at the end, don't speak retard to a retard. Okay, speak normal to a retard. I have experience. He goes there, Georgie. Hi, Georgie. You okay, Georgie? Fucking Georgie's looking at him like, I don't know. He's like a, a opposite force of, you know, retardness. And fucking, he's like that. You want to go up there with me? I'm like, oh my God, man. God, don't fuck around. This motherfucker go nuts. I'm going to put him to sleep. And then the ultimate, Georgie stood up. Let me explain something to you about hospital gowns. They're not designed for Georgie. And the fucking pants that he had, then things were capri pants. Because he was so fucking big, this motherfucker was so big that the fucking edge of the pants were by his fucking giant calves. He looked like he built Stonehenge by himself. This motherfucker looked at it at any moment he could rip out of them, break through walls. So fucking Mad Cow speaking crazy to him, got him to get in a fucking wheelchair. So here we are, the retard, talk to the retard, and now we're fucking rolling Georgie down the fucking hallway. And I can't believe, I'm like, how could this happen? This is incredible. Georgie's working with us. I'm like, this is fucking amazing. Fucking Matt Cow's on a roll. First he inter he fucking, he did some Gitmo interrogation of the old broad, and now, <laughs> while he was feeding her pudding, oh my God, let me wipe your lip. He's a fucking savage. All of a sudden, he's fucking there fucking wheeling Georgie and this fucking elevator, you know, the one that slides like fucking three doors, comes in and he slides him in there and the fucking Georgie, you see all of a sudden, he's like, Ooh. he's fucking never seen this fucking elevator before. I don't know how long he's been in this fucking building, but maybe it was before the elevator. When the fucking elevator closed the door and me and Mac I were in that room with Georgie, that motherfucker went psycho. And fucking Mac Cow's trying to talk to him. Let me tell you something. I have survived some horrific, scary fucking shit in my life. I have had so many <laughs> people in my life, from militias to soldiers to Mexican narcos. I survived fucking fifth world prisons. I mean, I've had fucking been through it all. But from floor three to floor seven, trapped in there with fucking Georgie, fucking the, 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 the psycho lunatic gorilla ape all. And all of a sudden, it was the, the most scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. He just grabbed Mad Cow and he just moved him over. Like, like he wasn't even, ex like, he, like he had wings on him, like he was flying. And then he fucking comes to try to grab me. Biggest mistake I made, I fucking swung at Georgie. Let me tell you something, don't hit a retard. Don't hit a retard until, unless you're ready to kill that motherfucker. All I know is that he think between floor five and seven, there were so many punches and kicks and everything and wheelchair being thrown up. I mean, I even hit Georgie in the stomach. Matt Couch tried to choke him. We were fucking Georgie up. I mean, it sounded like fucking rock and sock and robots. It was fucking crazy in there. I was trying to choke that motherfucker with my tie and I was still wearing it. All of a sudden, the seventh floor opened up. Bing, bing, the fucking thing opened. We spill out onto the floor. And me and Mac, I were trying to beat George to death. We're trying to fuck that. I think Mac, I was biting his fucking big feet. We were trying to kill this motherfucker, but he had the strength to just move you. Like, he moved you like he was a monster. And it was like crazy. It's like you couldn't. You grabbed his wrist. It was like that. We kept fucking him up. And we get, at one point, we had him down. I mean, I had him around the fucking neck. Mac, I had him around the waist. We, we were on top of him. And my cop started talking retard to him again because I, I guess the elevator triggered him. I don't know if it was the bell or the fucking numbers. I have him, man. I was about to sn I was like, you motherfucker, you're never going to breathe again, you fucking retard. All of a sudden, he starts to go. Started to act five years old again. 
not like that demon dinosaur motherfucker in the elevator. So, slowly, Matt Collier is talking to him. He calms down. He gets fucking Georgie to stand up. And I'm ready to fucking go crazy karate on fucking Georgie if he comes back. The fucking nurses are screaming because they see a fucking retard from the third floor. The fight broke out. They're doing the alarm. Boo, boo. They're fucking, everybody's coming for us. And all fucking man Kyle wants to do is get Georgie to the room. It doesn't matter. The old broad wants to see Georgie. We don't know what connection they have, but somehow or another, Georgie was getting in there. So man Kyle's leading more. And I'm just like... <laughs> Fucking dying, my fucking. I'm fucking. I'm about to fucking grab an asthma machine. <laughs> Never fought so hard in my life. You fight a retard. They don't have an understanding of pain. All of a sudden, Mac is fucking dragging him down the room. And all of a sudden, the family, they all see Georgie. And they, ah, 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 fucking everybody's bugging the fuck out. And fucking Georgie, like, ah, whatever. Oh my God, fucking there's an alarm from the bubble area where the nurses are at. Beep, 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 beep. And I'm like, oh my God, we're going to fucking prison. We're going to fucking prison. Fucking Georgie walks in the room. Beep, 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 beep. The fucking old lady's all happy, hugging this fucking big retard. Remember that fucking one that was going after Bugs Bunny, the big orange one with the converse? That was Georgie. And Matt goes, look, I found Georgie for you. Even though he fucking had a busted lip, fucking ears ripped. I... I got him for you. And she's like, you got me my Georgie. And they're all fucking happy. And he's like, when can I come and get the painting? And she's like, I'm, I'm going to leave the hospital at the end of the week. And he's like, all right, I'll, I'll be here to, to make sure that you to get the painting. At what time? And she's like, the second day they released me because you bought me my Georgie. Let me tell you something. I left that fucking old bro with that monster Georgie there. As I was walking out, the security guards were like running past us. They were going to go fucking grab Georgie and <laughs> fucking shock Georgie to death. That wasn't nothing to me. And like I told Matt Cow, yeah, you completed your deal. So a week later, the old bro checked out. He went to the house and he picked up the fucking painting. And obviously, we wound up selling the painting and the whole thing. But I still remember because the artist that I uh, spotted to do that, she, she became rich. She bought her painting back. She wanted to keep her collection. And she's like, oh my God, this painting meant so much to me. And I'm like, you fucking bitch, if you ever sell that fucking painting again or give it away, I'll fucking shoot you. I call that the fucking Georgie fucking Picasso. So... Now you know how Mad Cow took over the fucking hospital. So, that's it, motherfuckers. <laughs> After coffee, we'll do one more. But I gave you one early, because I know tomorrow you motherfuckers going to be like that. <laughs> I need to sell. <laughs> Love you, motherfuckers.